What's going on you guys? In today's video, we're gonna be doing an MPG test on the 2019 Dodge Charger RT Plus. We're gonna try to see what kind of fuel mileage we can get out of this 5.7 liter Hemi V8. So let's hop in the car and let's head over to the gas station. Now first I'd like to say this car is completely stock. The Charger is a stock car. The only thing that is modified is the mid mufflers are deleted. So I don't know if that'll affect the fuel economy too much. That and the tires are a bit wider than stock. I have 275 40s on here versus the factory 240. 45, 45, so a little bit wider tire, so probably a little bit more rolling resistance, meaning a little less fuel economy. But otherwise, this is a stock 2019 Dodge Charger RT Plus with a 5.7 liter Hemi V8. Got the eight speed automatic transmission, and this car has about almost 6,000 miles on it. Okay, so now we are here at the gas station. We're gonna fill up the car. We're gonna reset the trip and the fuel economy there. We're going to fill it up with the recommended fuel, uh, which is 89 octane and which is mid-grade by the way. I try to use the same exact gas station. We're at a Circle K here. Um, when I get back, hopefully I'm trying to hit 100 miles. I want to do a 100 mile like test loop. I don't know how close we will get to that, but should be pretty close to about a 100 mile, mostly highway loop. Like this will be about 95% highway, a couple, you know, stoplights here and there, but mostly highway driving. We're trying to hit, if you see over here, we got the window sticker for the car, the 2019 Charger RT Plus, and I really want to try to hit that 25 miles per gallon right there. As you can see from the car, it says I've been getting about 18.2. My normal driving around, um, obviously we will do hand calculations too. We're not just gonna 100% rely on that. So yeah, let's get this car filled up and uh, we will do the um, also double click method to make sure the car is completely full on both fill ups for the car. And uh, yeah, let's get this thing filled up. Okay guys, just filled up the car. A nice start up there. Let's go in here. We're going to first reset the trip and we are going to reset the fuel economy and also take it out of sport mode there. The whole driving will be done in normal mode, so there will be no sport mode or anything. I'm gonna try to go super easy on the throttle. As you can see right there, it says my range is about 330 miles. And uh, let's start the uh, MPG test. Hey guys, we are now cruising on the road. We have it set at 65 right there. Look at this, we're just about ready to hit 6,000 miles on the charger. So pretty cool getting to catch that on camera, but cruising at 60. Um, after this, we will be getting on a more of a less a freeway and we will be cruising at 75 for that entire uh, duration on the freeway. It's big. We're going to be doing a loop on the Loop 202. You guys are out in Arizona know where that's at, but we're doing the whole loop pretty much and uh, we'll be doing 75 the whole entire time, just cruising. Got it set to cruise control. Just, I will say I do have the AC on and the cooled seats on because uh, it's hot here in Arizona and I don't want to be uncomfortable. Look at that, there we go, caught it, 6,000 miles. I just wanted to catch it on camera for you guys, but uh, and also myself, but old seat is on, 75. I just have it on auto down there. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna be cruising. As far as fuel goes, I am using the mid-grade. That is what the charger recommends for the 5.7 liter Hemi. Regular is acceptable for the car, but per best performance and fuel mileage, it does recommend 89 octane. And I will say I only used um, 89 and premium for this car for about the first 5,000 miles. Gas prices started to get up a little bit high. It was like $3 and like 30 some cents for mid grade. I used two tanks of uh, regular unleaded in this car so far, but this is all mid grade unleaded. My last tank before this was mid grade and this tank is mid grade. So we are all on mid grade fuel. And as a little side note on that, I will say when I did go to uh, regular unleaded, I did know, notice it, it kind of seemed a little bit slower in the car. I don't know if it's just, you know, placebo effect, but I put regular unleaded in the car. It definitely did seem like it was a little bit lower. Now, as you can see, we do got a red light up here, so I will be slowing down, but that will be a part of it. Like I said, this is probably like 95% highway with like 5% city driving. So we're trying to get that best fuel economy as we can with what I got. My ultimate goal is obviously to hit that 25 miles per gallon like the sticker says there. And also I did want to wait as long as I could to do the MPG test. As you can see, I have 6,000 and now one mile on the car. I didn't want to do it right away because something with the uh, Challenger, I noticed after I got about 10,000 miles on the car, the car did start getting a lot better gas mileage. Like I was getting about 20 average with the V6 Challenger. And then once I hit like 10K, by the time I traded the car in at 14,800, I was getting about 25 miles per gallon combined in my Challenger V6. So I definitely wanted to wait as long as I could. I 
did see a couple comments saying they wanted to know what the MPG was, so that's why I'm deciding to do it now. But I wanted to at least get a good amount of miles on the car before we did the MPG test because I want to keep it, you know, I, I do believe that the MPG does get better as the engine breaks in. You know, this might be a little bit skewed towards the down because the car only has 6,000 miles on it. But in that, it should only get better with time, with more miles on it. I hope this uh, video helps any of you guys out there, you know, looking to buy, should I get a V6, V8, you know, the 5.7 V8 or the 6.4 V8, you know, kind of get that like fuel economy numbers. I have a fuel mileage video on my V6 Challenger if you guys want to go check that out. But this will be a fuel mileage video for the 5.7 liter Hemi. So trying to give you guys a uh, kind of a gauge on what kind of fuel mileage you can expect with this car. Here we are on the freeway. We're going cruising at 75 cruise control set. The car's been going in and out of four cylinder mode. So in and out of it. But as you can see right there, I mean, 24.5. I'm actually pretty surprised with how this goes. I mean, I normally don't drive the car easy. I'm, you know, definitely, I love the V8 engine in it. Let's just say that. Constantly on the gas, definitely like my accelerations. So I never really see that kind of a high mileage in the car, but now we're just cruising, 75, cruise control set. I'm gonna do my best to just be very easy on the throttle for the whole entire duration of the test loop. Take it easy and see what kind of MPG we can get out of this 5.7 liter Hemi V8. Been cruising for a little while longer, about 35 miles so far. I did change it to 77 from 75 because, well, I want to keep up with traffic. Everyone's kind of going pretty quick here, so plus it's more realistic, probably going a little bit faster. So cruised at 75 for a while, now we're cruising at 77 and uh, trying to keep up with traffic. We're actually doing really good. Look at that, 26.2. That's actually higher than what it says on the uh, window sticker. So let's see if we can keep this up. got about 70 miles should be close to 80 I mean we've done mostly 75 miles per hour to about 77 miles per hour now on this road we're going about 65 and uh, doing really good actually I mean range is still 344 I usually only go about 300 miles to a tank with uh, the way I drive the car definitely a little bit more spirited driving and so this is doing really good considering we've gotten 70 miles and it still says we can go another 340. I mean, if you're going highway mileage, cruising at let's say 77 miles an hour, 75, somewhere in there, you can actually go pretty far on this, you know, taking it easy. You could probably get 400 miles to a tank, you know, if you're doing solely highway mileage. Now for my driving normally, it's about 50-50 city and highway which that's why i get a lot closer to that combined 19 miles per gallon right there i get a lot closer to that usually it's about 17 to 18 miles per gallon is the usual calculation you know doing it by hand now once we get to the gas station we'll try to get the same pump if we can see what kind of uh, mpgs we got out of this uh, 5.7 liter hemi v8 so we are here back at the gas station we're actually at the same pump which is pretty nice and there you guys go we got 26.9 almost 80 miles 78.8 and uh go down here to our trip that's what it says right there time hour and 14 minutes and uh yeah let's uh fill her up and see how much uh, we actually use our range is still at 348 and the needle is barely moved off of fuel if not so we barely used anything there for as far as fuel so uh, so let's fill her up and see how many gallons we use here we go filling her back up there with plus See how much it comes out to. Wow, right there, only 2.8. So, not that much. Let's give it a second here and we will do another click. Okay, here. There you guys go. There's how much we use for 80 mile test loop. So, I'm going to reset the trip since I did just fill it up. And uh, here we go. 
Let's do the hand calculations. It says 26.8 or 26.9 when we pulled up. Let's see how uh, the hand calculations here on the phone work out. So here we go. I just did 78.8 divided by 2.996 and uh, there we go, 26.3 miles per gallon. And that's saying 26. 0.8 when we pulled in it said 26.9 obviously I'm sitting here idling so it's going down a little bit but that's actually pretty accurate I mean about half a mile per gallon off for the uh, MPG there on the computer which is actually pretty good but dang we actually got 26.3 when it says over here highway 25 miles per gallon so I'm actually pretty surprised with that like that's actually really good numbers for this car for a v8 pushing you know 370 horsepower and 395 foot pounds of torque so that's pretty good this car does have four cylinder mode eight speed transmission so it does help out with the uh, fuel economy there but definitely good fuel economy numbers if you're doing highway mileage here I'm gonna do one for you guys this is a uh, my driving i'm very spirited when i'm driving you know i like to hear the engine i like to hear that roar that exhaust let's do my uh, last tank before this what kind of miles per gallon i got from there okay this was my last tank i had this is my normal daily driving back and forth to work this is how many gallons i filled it up with so almost a full tank it was 312 miles is how far i went on my tank and let's see what my normal gas mileage is see now that's what i get normally i get about 17.9 or about 18 miles per gallon is what I get normally. That's about 50% city, 50% highway, and the highway is usually, you know, rush hour traffic, so a lot of stop and go. So pretty much almost all city, I guess you can figure it out to be. But that's like a full tank of gas, kind of give you guys a real world example of what a full tank is like of me driving. And obviously that was, you know, every red light, I probably hit the gas, did a full, you know, RPM shift there to hear that beautiful sound of the v8 so you know 18 miles per gallon is what i usually get about driving around town about 300 miles to the tank obviously if you only use highway and you take it easy you could probably get 400 miles to a tank and uh obviously yeah look at, look at the range now after i put a full tank in it says almost 387 there so almost 400 miles so if you're the person who's only using it highway you drive it pretty easy you can definitely hit that 25 miles per gallon which is really awesome from you know a big v8 car this is not no light car either this is a heavy four-door sedan you know you got back seats it's got leather heated cooled seats heated rear seats it's got all the options and also i have a full-size spare tire and a subwoofer in the trunk so this is not a light car so definitely Really impressed with the numbers and uh, happy with what we got here. I uh, hope this helps any of you guys out there, you know, looking to buy a Hemi V8 and want to know what kind of MPG you guys can expect. And uh, hope this helps any of you guys out there looking for this. I uh, just wanted to make this for you guys, kind of give you guys a little example of what the MPGs are. You know, this is what I get daily, you know, mostly city driving, little highway, stop and go traffic with some good accelerations, and this is what you can get going on the highway, taking it real easy, just cruising. So, definitely a nice car. You know, the MPG probably will get a little bit better as I get more miles on it. I got about 6,000 on it. I think it's pretty broken in as of right now, but I feel like it'll only get better. Only room for improvement. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Charger and Cummins diesel content. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.